What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about fuses. So fuses. We use these in all sorts of electronic devices to stop dangerous amounts of current from reaching the device or appliance that they're hooked up to. Fuses are installed in electrical circuit in series with the power source and the appliance or device receiving the power. This way, all the current must travel through the fuse to get to the device. If for some reason an unsafe amount of current is on its way to the device, the fuse will blow, saving the device from being damaged. It does this by a physical limitation of the metal inside. Every fuse has a conductor, which is typically made of copper, but can also be made of zinc, aluminum, alloys of lead or tin, or even in some cases silver in some high voltage fuses. Pretty much any stable metal that reacts in a reliable and consistent way. This thin metal conductor inside the fuse will heat up depending on how much current flows through it, and if current gets too high, the conductor will literally melt and break apart, stopping the current flow. The best part about this is it should never allow more current through than designed because this is not a coded or programmed stop, this is a physical limitation, and unless the laws of physics change, this should always work. I say should because you still need to pick the correct fuse to use. So what types of fuses are there? Well, there's a lot. Here are two to show you because these are the most likely ones you've seen or have already encountered. On the left here we have a glass cartridge and the right is probably the most common one is a blade type fuse. You can see on the top or the side the rating of the amperage of each fuse and this is the amount of current that is needed to blow the fuse. And that is the basics of fuses. Thanks for watching my video guys. If you could uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions. Otherwise, subscribe, like the video, do what you will, and I'll see you all in the next one.